Hi, I'm Chase Raz, and this is TZO. Today, we're going to be doing a rather light tutorial, but on a product that took us by surprise for the most part, we'll be looking at Zill All. And no, I didn't just say Zill Wall, the governance token for Zill Paint, but I said Zill All, Z-I-L. ALL. -L. The interesting thing is that this project is from the Zill Wall team. If we take a look, it's from the Pintar team that um, created Zill Paint and has worked with um, quite a few projects in the space behind the scenes. So these two gentlemen, um, I've only had the privilege of meeting them, I believe, once or twice in live stream environments. And every single time I walk away so impressed. And I have to admit that spilling over into today, I'm super impressed at this particular project that they basically just sprung upon us. I, I, you know, most people I talk to say they had no idea this was coming or that um, they only had, you know, a day or so of a heads up. So I don't want this video to get too dated with the new release of, of, of this project just coming out on September 3rd, 2021. What I'd like to do is make it a little more evergreen and just walk through the project so that if you're watching in 2022, 2023, even though things will have changed significantly, I'm sure you'll still get the general idea of what Zillow is and how to use it. So let's get started. The concept of Zillow is that you can take multiple ZRC2 tokens, multiple tokens like you see here on the screen, port and score and XCAD, and you can put them together in an index token. This index token, the token they're calling the CFT, the Compound Fungible Token. And you might think, well, why would you want to do this? And that's a pretty good question. So let's take a look at their site. They do have some FAQs down below. And I believe somewhere in here, it asks, why wouldn't I just do this, right? Why can't I just buy each token separately? Again, we're talking about the idea of taking multiple tokens out of your wallet that you have bought separately and putting them together, essentially trading them for one index token. So here's what they say. You can buy tokens individually. However, uh, tracing individual uh, tracking, excuse me, tracking individual tokens in your portfolio is not easy. You will have to do your own research for each project and track your portfolio. So we provide a tool to make investments into the Zillica ecosystem easier. Now, I do think it would ultimately be easier if the smart contract could go and acquire these on your behalf. Uh, it does not do that at this time. And I'll show that to you in just a moment. But it, it, you know, the concept of an index token or a compound fungible token, CFT, as they're saying here, goes a little bit beyond just making things easier. Think about the concept of if you're exchanging a, 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 can, a you know, a section or a section, a, uh, a selection of tokens, for another token that stands in its place, what happens when the prices change of the tokens you're holding? Well, now you have the standalone token representing them. And so this creates lots of arbitrage opportunities within the community. So let's just imagine a very simple scenario. We'll take a look at the, uh, the, um, the token that's right here on the front page. What if we were to take the United Dex Index and we were to say, let's take SCORE. The SCO token just skyrockets for some reason. Who would be responsible in making sure that the related index token was priced accordingly? We would. Those of us who hold SCORE, those of us who hold this index fund, those of us who hold Zillica and, uh, you know, Zill. And that means that this token, this compound fungible token is bringing arbitrage opportunities into the Zillica ecosystem that admittedly we haven't really had previously. So let's look at the technical details because you probably want to get started and not just learn too much more about the project, right? Ready to jump right in, uh, <laughs> jump in, then assess the depth of the water, right? Uh, on this site at the current time, it does explain what a CFT is. It gives a very brief light paper, just a general understanding of how things work. It doesn't go into the arbitrage opportunities and things like that, but, um, it is it is sufficient for, I think, most people to start looking at this project. Uh, I've been scrolling down to get to this point, however. Let me move myself out of the way a little bit. The two funds, I shouldn't be saying funds, um, compound tokens. 
the two, I'm going to say funds, the two funds that they have built, and they are going to have to pre-build these. These are not something we can come and just create our own. I do love that they call these recipes and that you craft them. Again, we don't craft them. Uh, the team crafts them and puts them out. I don't know if that changes over time. We'll see. But they have a Zillica index and a United DEX index. And so these two things are unique tokens, like I just mentioned. One is Zillex and the other is Unidex. Now, I will say if you are watching this relatively uh, shortly after I released the video, no, those tokens, at least at this time, are not over here on ZillSwap. Um, I, was, I had a panic moment. I was double checking, making sure I'm using a throwaway wallet. I don't know if it's to throw away, but I don't use this wallet for anything. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see them at this time and that's fine. As I mentioned before, every interaction I've ever had with this team from Zill Paint, Zill Wall, uh, now Zill All, I have been left speechless in their capability, their attention to detail. And, um, on that level, if you notice, you can just directly link to either of these on ViewBlock so that you can get the token, um, the, the, the address, you can see the transactions that are happening. As you can see, it just, we're, we're brand new here, just starting at the time of recording. And so uh, the, the attention to detail is wonderful. It did just switch. I was wanting to take a look at the other um, index, but anyway, two indexes to launch and uh, indices, two indices to launch. The first is the Zillica index, which will pair one GZIL or governance ZIL with one ZWAP. That's the reward token for ZillSwap. It'll match them one-to-one. -one. You put one-to-one -one in to this, this token, this compound token, and it creates the Zillex token for you. That's how the token is minted. If you ever were, were to burn it, you'd receive one GZIL out and one ZWAP out. So arbitrage opportunities, not only in trading on ZillSwap and any future DEXs that may come, but also in the ability to mint and burn these CFTs. The other recipe, if you will, available at launch is the United Dex Index. I just think that's a great name, the Unidex. It's, it's a really fun name to say for whatever reason. And take a look at the combination here. In fact, I'm gonna click craft and you'll see that the, the user interface element that I've been fighting at the top for most of this video is where you actually come to build these things. You'd scroll down to the recipe and you can click which one you want or you can select the drop down box and again, same thing, select the one you want, toggle back and forth between Zillex and the United Dex Index. Beautiful, uh, this is an aesthetic and a side, but beautiful token icons, by the way. Just wanna put that out there. These are just really, really um, stellar. They're really nice. I'm gonna focus here, uh, actually it doesn't matter because I'm gonna throw away a wallet, like I said. So either one, when you go, to create, to mint this index, this compound fungible token, you do have to have the existing tokens in your wallet and you have to unlock each one of them to interface with the smart contract. Now I get that that can seem like a lot. They do in the FAQs, they do go through, um, the next to the last question, why do I need to unlock tokens to craft the CFT? And it says, in order to transfer a fund, you need to increase the allowance for the CFT smart contract. So uh, a couple of typos in that. Uh, I'm sure the team will see it and get right on it again. Um, I'm recording very, very quickly after the um, the unscheduled, um, scheduled on their end, not externally scheduled launch. So a couple of typos, no big deal. But when we're minting, you'll go through, and I, I am gonna leave you at a certain point. I'm not gonna follow through the entire process right here because what you would do is you would have to unlock the contract within your wallet for each one of these. Prices aren't anything to be really concerned about. And of course, it's not going to be that expensive when you go through. We are all familiar with how crypto worked. It's giving you the maximum that the gas can be. It's certainly not gonna cost you two zil to put this through. Uh, but we would go and confirm each one of these one by one. And then you would be able to mint as many of this Zillex or potentially the Unidex tokens as you want to mint, provided that you have sufficient balance to mint that quantity. When you type the volume in, notice how everything reverts to where there's no red. 
as soon as you try to type in something where one token or more does not have a sufficient quantity, you will get a red indicator. Of course, I'm using an empty wallet, so everything is red across the board. Once you're ready and once you have all the tokens loaded, all of the tokens um, unlocked within the contract, the correct amount in and are ready to go, you would simply click unlock tokens. You're going to verify within your um, within your wallet at that point that you want the contract to execute. And guess what's going to happen? The tokens that you have, these individual tokens. So for the United Dex Index, port, score, XCAD, blocks, Zillstream, Carbon, they're going to be removed from your wallet, as you would imagine. And this one token is going to be produced back. Just to recap, what can you do with the token once it's there? Of course, you could arbitrage on the DEX, or you could burn the token subsequently to receive the individual components back out. All right, everybody, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And if you have any requests for follow-up videos on this or any other topic, just drop me a note. You can go ahead and add that into the comments, or you can get in touch with me on Twitter or Telegram or anywhere that I'm at. Most of the time, I'm at Chase Raz. Take care, everybody. This is TZO.